friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I brought you upstairs because we are going to be actually working out in the hallway in our linen closet. I need to do some serious decluttering, cleaning, as well as organizing. I have not taken the time to do that in the seven years we've lived here. I've just kind of pushed in different organizers that didn't really work in other spaces in our home and I don't really feel like we're using the closet to its fullest potential. So I thought today what we're going to do is pull everything out of the closet, declutter, clean it out, and put in some new organizing pieces that will hopefully function a little bit better for our family. Now we live in a two-story home, so what things you might find in our hall closet are unknown. You never know what we've crammed in there <laughs> over the years. But I tend to store extra sheets. I also store a lot of my bath and body works like hand soaps, candles. I also have a tool set. We have a whole vacuum that I'd like to keep upstairs. So there's a bunch of random things in there. Linens, but also just everyday things that are nice to have upstairs on this level. So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's jump in. Let's clean this closet out and bring some organization to it. I closed the bedroom doors for now because of the weird glare I was getting from the windows, but you can see the difference between the bedroom doors and the closet door. Are you ready to see what it looks like? It is a disaster. My plan is to pull everything out of the closet and start all over. But on the top shelf, I have just extra sheets from over the years just tossed up there because it's kind of hard to reach. So that will all come out. On the second shelf, I have a bunch of my Bath and Body Works candles, soaps, wallflowers. Oh my gosh, just extra tools and scissors if we ever need it. Cleaning caddy. I like to store cleaning products up here. Believe it or not, this caddy is from college. That was my shower caddy. So how many years ago was that? It doesn't really fit very well. As you can see, I have supplies that don't even fit in it. So that will all come out. Now this one needs help. So we have beach towels, more sheets, humidifier, diffusers, vacuum attachments, tools. Oh my gosh, cleaning towels. And then down below, I have way in the back there, a basket that holds Kleenex and usually it has toilet paper. I'll need to go grab some from our storage room to fill it up, but then I also have a vacuum. First off, I just want to say thank you for bearing with me on the lighting of this closet. It is a pretty dark one and of course having all the bedroom doors closed here does not help things and I don't have any extra lighting to set up in here. So anyways, thank you for that. But what I'm doing right now is just pulling everything out and bringing it into our bedroom. There's so much stuff in this closet and I thought the best way to just see what I all have is to lay it out on our bed. Let me know in the comments if you have a linen closet and what you store in yours. I think it is such a fun question to ask because you never know what some store in their linen closets. I feel like ours is kind of random, especially the fishbowl there that I shared with you. I asked the same question over on Instagram and got some hilarious results, so let me know. Thank you. 
So I have a huge mess all over bed, so that means that we can't go to bed until I organize the closet, but I thought I would take a minute and just share with you everything that I picked up as far as organizational items go to use in the closet. I have ideas in mind. Some of them might work and some of them might not. We'll just have to see how it all goes together, but the first thing I ordered was off of Amazon, and I was looking for something to store all the sheets in because I don't really reach for them all the time or access them. I'll usually just wash sheets on our bed and put them right back on that same day. But when we do switch season to season is when I'll go in. So anyways, long story short, I don't need to get in there or up there all the time. So I thought a nice way to store them would be to put them in these little, I don't know what you want to call it bins almost or bags so they are gray and they are huge but you can see they have like a clear window so you can still see what is in them I'm hoping to maybe declutter a few and all of them will fit into one but it did come with a set of three so worst case we'll try to fit two of them up there I'm not quite sure but I did pick up those and those had really good reviews and I'll try to link what I can down below, by the way. Now, I did share this with you in a shopping haul ooh, a couple weeks ago, but I had picked these up from Home Goods. They are a set of three like clear bins with the wooden or bamboo lids. I love them because they have lids and you can stack them. These are $19.99 for three, and I'm thinking like essential oils, Bath and Body Works wallflowers, maybe even tools in one, and we'll stack them. I think three of them will fit, but we'll just have to see how that all goes. But I like how you can see in them, and that way I don't have to add labels. And so I can switch things out if I need to, if it's not working very well. So got those. Ooh, that was not good. <laughs> From Walmart, I picked up this cleaning caddy. That's what I'm hoping to use it for. I'm going to say goodbye to my pink college shower caddy. And this one is a lot bigger. I think I can fit more in it, at least all the products I like to have up here, so it'll be easy to carry from bathroom to bathroom. And it'll just fit the closet a little bit better than a round basket, so I got that. I think this was around $5. It wasn't more than six. It was one of those odd numbers that Walmart has. And then I also picked these up from Walmart. They are two plastic bins. I was looking for a very specific size to fit in there. But they're the Curver Jute. They are gray baskets. And I'm thinking hand soaps. All oh, my Bath and Body Works. Hand soaps and body washes, things like that. And candles, perhaps. So we'll just have to see how those fit in. But I wanted to have these ready on hand. And then lastly, I talked about this when I went out shopping the other day. I found, if I can find a spot, my bed is literally covered. I found this giant basket at Hobby Lobby in the spring shop. I believe after the discount, it was right about $32. So a little bit more pricey for a basket to go in a closet. But this is something that, like I, I always say this, baskets never go out of style. It's something that we can use forever. <laughs> and it's ginormous. So I'm thinking like toilet paper, maybe Kleenex boxes all in here on the floor of the closet would look really nice. So those are all the pieces that I picked up. I think what I'm going to do is work from top to bottom in the closet with sheets first. I'd like to go through, get rid of a few sets of them. And then I also had beach towels in that closet, but now that we're getting into the warmer months, I'm going to actually bring those downstairs. So that should free up a little bit of room as well. So let's do some sheets and start working our way down. These towels flew out of my hands as I was carrying them in here, but all of these can go downstairs now. And some of them actually we could probably get rid of that have holes in them or just have seen better days because we actually have quite a few beach towels. So. Those can go downstairs. These are old curtain panels that we don't even need anymore, so we'll probably set those aside to get rid of. And the kids, see here's my problem. The kids have the Betty's comforters that are, it's like an all-in-one type of system for their beds, so they actually don't need these sheet sets anymore, but I've been keeping them just in case. I don't know why, but I think I'm actually going to say goodbye to the kids' extra sheet sets now that we have the Bettys. They love them, I love them, and we have no plans to ever go back to their old bedding. So, yeah, time to say goodbye. <laughs> Now 
going through all the sheet sets, I found, I think, three bed skirts that we are no longer using, as well as a couple of discolored white sheets that haven't been used in years. They didn't even smell good either. So those are going. I pared it down to three sets of sheets for our bed, a couple of flannel ones that we use in the colder months, and then just an extra white sheet set just in case. You never know. But now I'm just folding them up. I'm rolling the pillowcase as well as the fitted sheet inside of the flat sheet. Now I know there's a fancy way you can fold them, but I, I don't really need to do that. I think this way is just fine and it's going to be going in that bag I shared with you anyways. I ended up getting rid of quite a bit of sets of sheets and bed skirts that we don't even use anymore, but there are three sets of queen sheets that fit fine. There's room for one, maybe two more if I really wanted to get wild and crazy, but yeah, those things are very large. How many of you store fish bowls in your linen closets? Apparently we do, and we haven't had a fish in a year or two now, so I'm thinking, it's time to put this away in the storage room. I'm not going to get rid of it completely quite yet, but I know this fish food is expired, so we will get rid of that. But I think there's a goldfish in our future. I don't know, so. But I don't think it needs to stay in our linen closet. I'm a little bit overwhelmed looking at what is on our bed, so I think what I'm going to do is just start with what I know where it's going. So like, for instance, the cleaning caddy with the cleaning products. Bath and Body Works, I bought specific bins for those. So we're gonna start with that and see what we have left. I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on cause my time is now. I am a woman, play by my own rules. I got my duvet on solid ground. As I was planning and preparing to organize this closet, I made sure to stock up on a lot of the items that I wanted to store in this closet. So having this many hand soaps or wallflowers or whatever you will see me adding in here is not typical for us. I don't have that many usually, but I just wanted to make sure that there was room to grow in case I ever did stock up on some of these items during a big sale or whatever the case might be. So everything is stocked up and I do have room to grow. But you do want to stay tuned until the very end because I do shift a few things around in some of these bins that I'm sharing with you. And I'm not labeling them either. I really just want to live with it for a while, make sure it works for us, and if it's something we can store in here long term. items going back into the closet and I have a feeling I'm going to have some extra space which I am very happy about room to grow because this is all the stuff that is not going back in organizers that didn't work or fit properly sheets that we haven't used in years bed skirts we haven't used in years a broken humidifier tools that I just stashed away in a hurry garbage, that kind of stuff that no longer needs to go in there. And I think that metal drawer organizer is really nice. I'm not going to get rid of it. I think I can better use it 
in the kids bathroom underneath their sink so that's what i'm going to try initially i bought it to go under our kitchen sink but with the disposal it just didn't fit and i shoved it in this closet so i will most definitely find a better home for that because it is really nice it just didn't work well for what i needed it for so what I'm going to do now is put everything back in the closet and then reassess how much space I have left. I want to see how much room I have before I start bringing things from around the house to add into the closet. So let's get all this back in and see what we have left. That was not easy to get up there. Luckily I only access that like twice a year so we should be okay. I ended up putting all of my cleaning cloths right into this caddy because I had so much space and then I don't have to take up additional room in the closet for them. So I think that worked out okay. Put them up here so the kids can't really get to them. Yeah. This was a tool set that I got for Christmas a couple of years ago. I wanted something up here in case I was fixing something or hanging something up. So. I do like to keep this in here. I don't, do not access it all of the time. So I think I'm just gonna tuck this in the way back. I very rarely get my organizing done how I envisioned it the first time. It takes a lot of trial and error almost. So I think what I'm going to do is just put away or throw out or whatever I need to do with all the stuff I removed from the closet. I'm gonna put all that away or get rid of it and then try to think about if there's a better way to organize this closet. Here is a side-by-side -side before and after of the closet. I am so happy. It feels so much more functional and organized for our family. On the top shelf, I did add a little plant. I just couldn't resist. It needed a pop of color. <laughs> and then I also added two flashlights in case of emergency. We always keep a couple of those up here. But on the second shelf, I kept things pretty much as is. I did separate out the wallflower plugs into a separate bin and then I tucked our humidifier in the way back there. And I think that works really well. I can easily pull things out as I need them. I may eventually switch out the wallflowers and the essential oils so they aren't in the same bin. But for now, it totally works for us. And then in the next shelf, I added a couple of clear bins from Target. I needed something to add our medical supplies in, our nebulizer. Also, this little stuffy is one of those like warm and cold packs that the kids can use. And then in the other bin, I have a jewelry cleaner and some of the vacuum attachments. And I just propped an extra first aid kit in the closet for now to make space in our bathroom closet. So I think the Bath and Body Works products work very well in here. I'm not currently stocked up on a ton of candles, so there's room to grow for sure. I also really like how much lighter and brighter this basket looks holding our paper products on the floor. Alright my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope it inspired you to organize or just declutter a space that has been driving you crazy for years like this closet has been for me. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.